I made another really cute off the shoulder top that I would dare to say is a bit on the sexy side. Let me show you. I'm Madi with Madi Sews and welcome back. So you all, I'm really excited today. Um, I'm excited to tell you about my new Burr Baby top by Mika's Digital. And they've also given us a couple two giveaways. I'll give you all of the details on the giveaway later in this video, but first let me tell you about the Burr Baby pattern that I just made from them. So you guys may actually remember this fabric. I got it from Fabric Mart. Um, it was a lightweight French terry and it was actually a lot more lightweight than I had originally thought and I wasn't sure what I was, what I was going to use it for, but when I saw this Burr Baby pattern by Mika's Digital Patterns, I knew that it was just going to like zhuzh up the, you know, like I, wa I, wa I want to feel a little sexy every now and then. Okay, first off, it's a PDF pattern. So let's just get that out the way. Get your tape ready because you're going to be, you're going to be taping a bunch of papers together and like, just, just get ready. <laughs> but this top has a whole lot of options. Um, it had two different neckband options. This one is actually the um, wider neckband, I believe, that they offered. It had an option to ruche the sleeves or not. So if you could just see here, you can see it's ruched with elastic. And so let me see if I can just flip that on the inside so you can actually see what's going on here. So you see here, here's the elastic, right? So what you do is when it's under your sewing machine, you attach one end and then you stretch the other out while you're sewing it. And then when you're done, it just kind of like bounces back. It's really, it's really fun technique actually. I like doing that a lot. Um, and there are two different cuff options. There was a longer cuff option and a shorter cuff option. Now, um, for my cuffs, I ended up shortening my sleeve some and my cuff a bit to make them all kind of, well, match up to the length that I wanted. The way that they construct the cuffs in this pattern is you have this hourglass looking uh, pattern piece and you fold that in half. So you can see it's actually attached all the way up here. There's no, it's all one piece, which is really nice because you get a nice finished cuff. It can be sewn up on your sewing machine or a serger. You really want to use knits for this because it's like made to kind of like hug your curves and stretch over and you know, kind of kind of makes kind of make that booty look really good, right? So, make sure that you're using a knit for this one and you want a knit that has really good recovery. I'll admit this French Terry that I use, although it has 50% stretch in it, it's the recovery in it really isn't that amazing. So I really do find myself steaming my neckline out to get it to kind of lay flat. So my advice to you when you're making this pattern is to use a fabric that has a lot of recovery. And by recovery, what I mean is when you stretch it out, it's going to boing right back to where it was. That is the ideal fabric. The Burr Baby pattern comes with um, two different, well, it, it comes in two different lengths, right? It comes in a shirt length and then it comes in a tunic length, which is longer. I'm actually thinking that I have this really nice uh, cable knit in my stash. And so I think I wanna make this again, but I'm gonna lengthen it out into a dress length. So I'm gonna like bring it down to like right above my knees, wear it with some boots. I'm just, I'm thinking that's where it is. I'm feeling like even though it's cold outside, I can still go out there and look really cute or I can just sit in my house and look a little sexy, right? Like it's okay. There are also two different hip band options for this pattern. So there's plenty of ways that you can customize this to make it kind of like your own. Let me just show you how this top looks when it's actually on. K 
Can you tell I was feeling myself? As always, I'm going to um, link to the pattern and everything down below, but I did want to tell you that I have a giveaway for this pattern. Mika's Digital was actually really, really nice, and they gave me two $10 certificates for you all, so that way you can go and shop their patterns on their website. I really hope that you get the bird baby if you win. In order to qualify, Please subscribe and leave me a little comment um, below and let me know what you think about this top. Also, in the description box, you'll find the link where you can go in and put in all of your details. And there'll also be other chances for you to get additional entries by, you know, checking me out on my other social media channels. Of course, because Mika's Digital is, of course, PDF patterns and they're online. This is open to everybody, wherever you are. The giveaway is going to start today, of course, and it's going to run for one week. So we're going to run until next Saturday, and then I'll announce the winner next Sunday. One week. Thanks for hanging with me. And until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.